What do you think is our lesson all about? I think it's about media and information sources. Do you have background about this topic? Nothing much. But I think it's about the different outlets where we can get information. Good morning everyone. Today, we are going to talk about media and information sources. Don't win a sound route, but... I'm too lazy for this. I know, right? We know that media is used for spreading information. And now, we will discuss on where or what are the sources of these informations, and how to acquire them correctly. Basically, there are three types of sources, libraries, indigenous media and the internet. Libraries are places where literary, musical, artistic or reference materials are being kept. There are four types of libraries, academic library, school library, public library and special library. Academic library serves academies and universities. On the other hand, school library serves students from kindergarten to grade 12, while public library serves towns and municipals. Lastly, special libraries are in specialized locations such as hospitals, corporations or museums. Are you taking down notes? I don't think so. Another type of information source is indigenous media. But, what exactly does the word indigenous means? Well it simply means native or local. We should also know what is indigenous knowledge and indigenous communication. Indigenous knowledge is knowledge that is unique to a specific culture. It is not written down. While indigenous communication is a means of preserving a culture by handing it down and adapting to it. Now that we know indigenous knowledge and indigenous communication, let's proceed on indigenous media. Indigenous media is a form of media expression produced and circulated by indigenous people around the globe as a vehicle for communication. There are various forms of indigenous media, which are, folk or traditional media, gatherings and social organizations, records, direct observations, and oral instructions. The last and very vital source of information on today's generation is the Internet. It is a global network providing a variety of information and communication facilities. It consists of interconnected network using standardized communication protocols. Hence, the term Internet. There are evaluating information found on the Internet. The authorship, publishing body, accuracy and verifiability, and currency. There are things to consider on evaluating information on the Internet. First is reliability. Information is said to be reliable if it can be verifiable and evaluated. The second is accuracy. Accuracy refers to the closeness of the report to the actual data. The measurement varies on the type of information being evaluated. It can be forecasts or financial. The third one is value. Information is said to be of value if it helps the user in making decisions. The fourth one is authority. Is the publisher or author credible enough? The fifth and the last one is timing. The accuracy, value and reliability of the information may vary as time passes by. Example of this factor is research. But there are other information that are timeless. There are certain things that we can do to ensure the reliability of an information. We can check the date, author of the publication, citations or the domain of the site slash page. But to ensure the accuracy of an information, we can look for facts, cross-reference with other source, or determine why it is published on the first place. Well, it is already time. See you all, on our next meeting. Our lesson today in media and information literature is quite educational. I mean, it taught me how and where to look for credible information. And by knowing those, I'll never have any problems regarding fake news or incorrect information. I know, right? Like, if we want to know information, we shouldn't just jump into sites that turned out to be unsafe and misleading. It can also help us be the trusted primary source. So to sum it up, being educated on this matters is very important nowadays. You know what? I couldn't agree more.